Tonight, Topekans are taking another step forward addressing the city's homeless population. Members of the public joined community leaders today to come up with solutions. And 27 News reporter Caroline Soro listened in on everything, and she joins us live in downtown Topeka. So, Caroline, what are some of the takeaways from today's conversation? Well, I think one of the biggest takeaways from today is just how much people really care about this issue. Community members gathered in this building behind me here for almost three hours today, just brainstorming and really trying to work together. Everybody's long gone and at home by now, but their ideas are what's sticking around. The moniker is fall in love with the problem. The past few months were about understanding Topeka's homeless situation. Now it's time to find ways to address it. So the goal is to come up with seven to 10 different solutions. Typically those will range in terms of short term versus long term solutions. And the city brought in Brianna to manage that process. She says the best way to approach this is by involving as many people as possible. It's not just me who's concerned, but a greater sense of community. I mean, look how many people turned out. I mean, this was completely surprising. I mean, we're all pulling up chairs because we don't even have room to sit down. Jordan crowded around tables with other Topekans and community leaders today. They brainstormed ideas, shared them with the group, and even voted on the best ones. I saw a tremendous amount of passion, hope, excitement. I saw a lot of energy of wanting to solve this problem to serve those that need these valuable resources. Kudos to the city for bringing folks together from all walks of life to come and talk about solutions to really, again, helping human beings. Silver's team will test out some of those ideas in the near future and, of course, offer more chances for Topekans to pitch in. It doesn't matter whether I know them or not. I mean, I just think it's a simple matter of we care about each other and that's what the community is about. Well, these conversations will continue all week long. Starting tomorrow, some city officials will weigh in, and then on Thursday, homeless individuals at some of the local warming shelters will offer their thoughts as well. And if you feel like you have some ideas that need to be heard, you can send an email over to homelessinitiative at topeka.org. Working for you live in downtown Topeka, I'm Caroline Soro, 27 News.